Uh, Mayor, what can you say about the migrant issue and the uh, sending of the Venezuelan uh, migrants to Massachusetts? Uh, what are your thoughts weighing in on that? So many. I think first, you know, uh, the Venezuelan people have suffered tremendously. Obviously, many of them are, are uh, um, fleeing political persecution, much like Cubans that came to this country. So that's sort of one of the thoughts. Um, secondly, you know, this is something that I think both parties um, share the blame, right? You're talking about, um, from our understanding of the reporting, the federal government has sent 70 flights of migrants into the state of Florida. And we should not, uh, whether if you're Republican or Democrat, you should not politicize people, right? And I think there has to be now a rational national conversation on immigration reform to solve this problem once and for all. Uh, and it should be based on our economic needs as a country, um, our, our national security interests, but it should also be compassion. I mean, this is a country of immigrants. Uh, this is a city of immigrants, um, and we thrive because of that. The Santa's decision to send the migrants to uh, Martha's Vineyard, is that something you, you're opposed to, or you, you think that it's, uh, what do you think? I, I, I'm opposed to both Republicans and Democrats uh, using people uh, to make political points on something so sensitive as, as and uh, you know, so vulnerable as people who are immigrants. And it's been done by both sides. I think it was 70 flights of, of immigrants were flown into Florida in Jacksonville in the middle of the night uh, by the federal government. So you have the Democrats doing that, and then you have the Republicans reacting by sending uh, migrants uh, throughout the country. I think it's just, it, it's, a, it's, it's time. It's time for us to have a comprehensive solution to this problem on a bipartisan basis uh, so that we can move on uh, and, and so that we can treat people like human beings. Mr.